Yes guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the George Benson Football Channel. Today, I want to sit down and discuss a little bit with you guys about Chelsea and the problem that we seem to have with shooting. I was watching back the extended highlights from the game against Blackburn, looking through the statistics and thinking back to how I felt in moments when we were in the final third, when we were taking shots, creating chances, and why, game after game after game, when you statistically look at Chelsea FC, we are underperforming XG, we have a lot of shots on goal, but none of them are really, on the surface, get yourself out of your seat kind of shots. Players on the edge of the area, apart from Sterling, I think he was just inside the area against Blackburn. But there is very few times when we watch Chelsea these days where we think, go on, have a go. Players don't like to shoot. Players are seeming reluctant to take shots from outside the area. And I want to talk a little bit in this video about why Reese James and what we saw at moments in that game against Blackburn is such a key for Chelsea and how Reese being in the team, the confidence that he has, the quality that he's got when it comes to actually striking a ball, why, if Reese James stays fit, I think a lot of Chelsea's issues might not dissolve and disappear, but they could absolutely be aided by the presence of having Reese as an attacking fullback in this Maurizio Pochettino Chelsea team. So, off the top of my head, and I want you guys to let me know in the comments section of this video, when you think about the Chelsea team, when you think about the squad that we've got right now, who do you want the ball to fall to? When it comes to taking a shot or having an opportunity where hopefully there's not going to be four or five opposition defenders in front of you to block the shot. Who would you want the ball to fall to right now? Let's take it back to the Brentford game. The only real clear-cut chance that I can even remember from this game falls to Mark Cucurella on his right foot just outside or inside the six-yard box. If there was anybody that you don't want the ball to fall to, to have a shot in that exact moment, unfortunately... For the curly-haired man, Mark Cucurella is not the guy that you want to be in that position. However, fast forward to the Blackburn game two nights ago. All of a sudden, Reese James being on the field, what do we see? And yes, I know, I can hear it already. I can see you typing on your mechanical keyboard saying, but it's Blackburn, they're in the championship. The Premier League's a bit more difficult. I get it. But what did we see from Reese James? Even if the attempts weren't necessarily on target... We have got someone striking the ball cleanly, getting shots away from outside of the area, but then ahead of him, the movement seems a bit off, the patterns aren't available, but Reese James takes it upon himself to get the shots away to give Chelsea an opportunity of scoring a goal. So when we look at the statistics from that game against Blackburn, you can see here the amount of shots that we had, the amount of shots on target, it's it's a total disparity. It's something that, once again, I do want to talk about it a bit later on in the video, but I'd like to rather start with why I think Reese James being in the team can really aid Chelsea when it comes to not only getting away better shots, but also why Reese being present as far up towards the opposition penalty area as possible allows for yet more space. And I think what Reese being such an advanced attacking fullback allows is for one less player in the opposition to be ready for what they're anticipating. And right now, that is what makes Chelsea struggle so much against these low blocks. It is the fact that the opposition know that players don't seem to have the confidence to hit one from outside the box. The patterns in the final third aren't ready made to the point where you look at Manchester City, you get Foden in that final third. He knows where Haaland's going to be. Chelsea don't have that instinctive top quality finisher that basically premeditates a goal before it's even a goal. Nicholas Jackson isn't that player. He's not as intelligent as Erling Haaland and quite frankly has nowhere near as much ability as an Erling Haaland. But the way that Manchester City attack is you don't really know where the shot's going to come from but every player has the ability to rifle one in, but at the same time, the intricate nature of the way that they move allows opposition defenders to have absolutely no clue what's coming. So, add into the Chelsea equation, Reese James. Reese has the ability 
to hit the ball from long, arrive in the box, fizz an incredible ball across the face of the goal, and also get involved with that build-up, which would allow for someone like an Enzo Fernandez, a Cole Palmer, to make those little flicks into the final player that can hopefully finish it off, which is where the problem is. When it comes to players that have the confidence to finish, that is where Chelsea struggle the most. When you look at the goals that we concede, yes, a lot of them come from individual errors. There are moments of madness that seem to flood the brain of our goalkeeper. Positional awareness from a defender who's probably playing out of position because Reese James isn't there. All comes back to Reese here. I genuinely believe that whatever's happened on the training ground when it comes to Chelsea finishing, I've said this before, but there's nothing more frustrating for me. When you look at Chelsea in front of goal, basically in every match that we play, being clinical is the biggest problem. Scoring goals is the biggest problem. Burnley was a little bit different. Players are playing with confidence. Raheem Sterling looked as though he was reincarnated as Lionel Messi. He was absolutely magnificent. But this is a one-off game in a season where Chelsea want to be able to do this 38 games in a row, plus cop competitions. So what I want to see more is Cole Palmer managing to get the shots away. When you look at the way that some of these players strike the ball... Sterling doesn't really connect cleanly. Armando Broya, I would say, is one of the more harder hitting, put his foot through its strikers at the club, people that can actually attack the ball. Enzo Fernandez is trying to place it, but he thinks he's putting it between rugby posts more often than he thinks he's putting it in a football net, which is a problem. And then you look across the rest of the pitch, Ben Chilwell's a good striker of the ball, but he's always bloody injured as well. So when you think about the players that Chelsea actually have to put their foot through it, to shoot, to properly connect with a football, I don't really see anywhere near enough potential, man for man, to be able to execute this and actually finish. So what do I want to see Maurizio Pochettino do? If Reese James can stay fit... I want to see him getting forward as much as humanly possible. What does this mean potentially for an Enzo or a Gallagher? Well, I think it means that instead of having an Enzo or a Gallagher around the box, and Gallagher's another conversation here because he seemed to be a significantly better striker of a ball than he is now. So he's kind of regressed in that sense, but he's obviously progressed in other areas of the field. But get the ball to Reese. Let this man do his thing on the right-hand side. Let him arrive into the box and press as high as we possibly can. Mark Cucurella, if he's going to be Chelsea's left back until Ben Chilwell returns, because Matson can't get a sniff, don't let this guy be the one furthest forward. If we're talking about Premier League teams and you look at Liverpool, you look at Manchester City, the way that Stones moved into that midfield, the way that Trent's moved into that midfield for Liverpool, if we're talking about balance, the balance has to be Reese is as far forward as he can be without leaving too much exposure behind, but we've got midfield legs now to cover it. Don't let it be Cucurella. And at the moment, there is definitely a teething issue with Chelsea about that balance, about who are those players going to be to be able to strike the ball in and around the box. Let it be Reese. It's as clear as day to me, having seen that game against Blackburn, even though he wasn't necessarily hitting the target, it's the man's first proper start. He gets 65 minutes under his belt. He looks bright. He's looking to get forward. And I think as Chelsea's captain, you want to see him getting into those positions because Reese is the one who knows what being Chelsea is. He is the one who is absolutely fighting and trying to drive his teammates around him. And I think he's the best striker of a football at Chelsea Football Club. So right now, when we're waiting for Nkunku, who we know is a finisher, when Armando Broya is injured again, and Nicholas Jackson isn't firing, we've got to find other outlets here. Enzo needs to improve his shooting. Gallagher needs to bring back what we saw at Crystal Palace. He needs to be more confident in front of goal. But I think more than anything else, I think confidence in front of goal is something that's going to come by taking risks, taking chances. And over the next course of the next few games, I think Chelsea will have better shooting opportunities because of the style of play of the teams that we're going to be playing against. I don't think Ange is going to change things too much. I think he'll try and be compact, but I think the way he's got Tottenham playing football right now, they're going to try and play. They're going to try and attack. Manchester City, it's a no-brainer. I'm basically writing that game off in my head already because I don't expect to beat Manchester City, even on an off day right now. And Chelsea are going to have to be perfect. Newcastle, well, they managed to do the thing. 
that we hate the most very well and can also attack. So the next three games, we just I want to see more risks being taken from players. And I want to see the players arriving in the box, the players who are trying to get those final shots, those final touches to put the ball in the net, make it the ones that actually can finish. Not the Cucurellas of this world who are literally, I'd rather Sanchez maybe had a shot. I've never really seen Cucurella arriving and scoring. Never in a Chelsea shirt, so I don't see why he's the one being asked to be on the end of these crosses, making those runs. It's got to be someone else. We've got to gamble more in the final third and shoot. Bloody shoot. But hopefully get it on target at least. Force a save out the goalkeeper. Try and get a corner. Baddy your shields back. He can put it in when he's in the box. Little rant style video today. I wasn't really thinking too much about it until I saw the extended highlights and I'm like... How good is it to see someone who you know is confident striking a ball actually shooting? And he's a flipping right back and he's getting more shots away than our striker. So at the minute when Jackson's not firing, to put this video in a nutshell, just get the people that can strike the ball cleanly in the areas to score. Not the ones who aren't confident and not the ones that are not renowned for scoring because then maybe we stop missing chances and we start scoring. Thoughts in the comments down below. I'll see you guys next time.